fellow Scratchers, I'm Griff Patch and welcome to the results of yet another crazy awesome Griff Patch Academy Game Jam. This month's theme was backwards, and although that was perhaps quite a tricky theme, we again got over 100 submissions and yes, we played them all, from the backward shooters, to code cracking, from hero villain reversal, to interactive stories. From detective sleuthing to controlling a zombie horde, they were all simply amazing. But there can only be one winner, well, okay, uh, eight winners or something like that. Shall we see them now? Okay, our first winner is The Legend of the Time Cavern by Prolabs, a superbly polished scrolling platformer slash puzzle game where the player can control the reversal of time, literally taking you and your surroundings back in time, undoing any of your mistakes so you can take another stab at things. However, it doesn't stop there. Quite soon you discover the blue items in the game do not get affected by the reversal of time, and then things get interesting. So use your time power to solve each level, collect the energy pieces, and enter the end portal. This project wins the award for Best Time Control Project. Great job, Pro Labs. Excellent coding, especially getting all that time reversal to look so smooth and work flawlessly. That must have been quite a challenge. This next one is a simple word puzzle game, but it has excellent visuals and appeal. It's Epit, or Type Backwards, by Code Azure. And all we need to do is read the next word and type it in a letter at a time backwards. Seems simple, but only if you can reverse years of muscle memory that tries to get you to type words forwards. Just three little mistakes and it's game over. This is an excellently presented game, with a lot of replay value, since at each play you do get a little better. I really want to get the high score. Great job, Code Azure. Best Backwards Word Puzzle Award to you. Now this is fun. 7Parrot7 7 has created a fun platformer mechanic in their game, Shadow Realm, that allows you, the player, to flip on to the opposite side of the platform that you are standing on, entering the Shadow Realm. See how the whole scene changes style? Are you getting the Stranger Thing vibes too? <laughs> Very cool. Only to make things even more backwards, you'll find that your left and right controls are also flipped in this state. It's actually a little more confusing and leads to a lot of accidental death in my opinion, but maybe that was a step too backwards. However, I think this is an excellent game and you get the best reversible platformer award. Congratulations, 7 Parrots 7. And wow, out of all the attempts to create a fully reversed shooter game, Entropy Down by Gamer Mew really went the full hog and even reversed the direction of the player projectiles, making them appear at the edge of the screen and fly towards the player. Very clever. And amazingly, it all hangs together perfectly. All this along with a believable backstory. What can I say? The most authentic backward shooter award goes to you, Gamer Mew. Well played. Ooh, what's this then? Mango's Django's, in this splendid scrolling platformer, had the idea to create a game where the player mustn't come face to face with the enemy ghosts. So instead, you must always turn to face away. Backwards. But gosh, that's actually really hard to do. I wish there was an option to walk backwards. <laughs> Anyhow, this is a game of skill. So with a bit of practice, I bet you'll be dashing through these levels. Mango Django's wasn't the only one to have this idea, but they pulled it off with great style. So best facing backwards award goes to you. And now for something completely different. Backwards, presented by Athena24, and what a unique concept. It's a kind of time-defying detective game that begins with you witnessing a suspicious event all self-recorded by the talented Athena24, I assume. And it's creepy, but fully scratch appropriate, I'm glad to report. They're only sleeping. Now, to begin with, I had no clue what I was supposed to do. You can control the playback of the video and look for clues by clicking. And yeah, it turns out the ball is a clock that lets you change time. <laughs> nice. I shall not reveal more, but just for the sheer uniqueness and overwhelming quantity of imported costumes, I award you the most unique 
Backwards Project Award. Congratulations, Athena24. And what is this? Hello, Griff Patch. It's too late for you. I've already destroyed the town. Some dude has blown up all the buildings in town. And all we've got is, oh, a time ray. Awesome. Wait a minute. You fixed it? In a very wholesome turn of events. Hello Static lets us turn back time in Calamity Fixer and lets us put the world to rights. Combine that with a bit of fun arcade action and the odd forgivable bug, I'm sure you'll get to the bottom of those. This really is a clever and unique idea and I can't help but award you the most wholesome game award. With a special mention for fixing those unfortunate flowers. I wish I had one of those ray guns myself. So many good uses. Well done, Pillow Static, and keep up the good work. And that brings us to our last winner for this jam. We have Flower Defense by Strider2013, a tower defense game with the roles reversed and a very entertaining backstory. These cheeky flowers. So it's our job to spawn flowers and attack the main base. Only watch out for those turrets. The only way to overpower them is with sheer numbers, and this game includes a clever clicker element to collect money that then buys us more plant seeds. Then we can strategically grow more plants and use our temporary turret disabler, very handy, at just the right moment to allow the great horde to really get their petals dirty. Splendid and very entertaining. The Best Reverse Tower Defense Award goes to Strider 2013. So well done to you and thank you everybody who entered a project. I wish I could mention you all. Just as we close though, can I give a special mention to these few projects? Piabni000 for their great backward shooter, Shape Shooter, for a great shooter game with nicely done reverse level progression. Also, Werta4 was back again with another awesome game, Blobby the Janitor. I really loved this one, and you were in the top list for sure. I think the concept had such great merit. Going back to clean up after the main game has finished, I just wish it could have been pushed a little further into that backwards theme. Then there's Recoil by Not A School Account. Another winner from last month's Game Jam is showing their skills once more. I really loved playing this and the backwards recoil is really smart. Perhaps the level is just a little too cramped, but ha, maybe that works for the better. And then the last special mention goes to Bomberman 04HWB with Backwoods. <laughs> Clever name there. A wonderful looking game based on our Raycaster series, I suspect. I just love catching these chickens. Only once in hand, it's very tricky to find your way back to the chicken coop with this chicken stuffed in your face. Man, I really do love the idea though, and it looks great. And that really is all we've got time for. I hope you enjoyed watching these awesome game entries and that they perhaps will give you some inspiration for projects you might try to create yourself in Scratch. But until next time, do have a great week ahead and scratch on guys.